Hi friends, I'm Mukesh and welcome back to Curious Minds. Today's video is in the series I'm creating for Provincial Nominee Program. My last video in this series was about uh, the PNP offered by the province of British Columbia. If you haven't checked out that video, I would highly recommend you to watch that video as well so that you can understand what other programs are being offered under the BC PNP. I'd mentioned in that video that apart from the three PNP programs offered by the British Columbia, it also hosts two additional pilot programs. One of them being the BC Tech Pilot Program, which is what today's video is about. I will continue the series over the next few weeks, so hit the bell icon below so you can get notified when I upload a new video. So the first thing we have to understand is that the pilot programs are temporary and depending on the success of these pilot programs, uh, they can be changed into a permanent regular program. The good news is that the BC Tech Pilot Program, which was supposed to end in July 2020, has been extended until June 2021. And who knows, it may even be extended beyond that or maybe even changed into a permanent program. Now, what this Tech Pilot Program does is that it allows the BC Tech employers to hire international talent when local skilled workers are unavailable. The province of BC understands that the tech entrepreneurs and skilled workers from other countries uh, will help uh, grow its tech sector, leading to more jobs for British Columbians in the long run. And probably looking at the success of the BC Tech Pilot Program, Ontario has recently started its own tech pilot program as well. The tech sector in Canada has been expanding rapidly over the last few years with more demand than the supply of skilled workers. Over the last three years, more than 4,200 individuals have received a nomination for permanent residency under this BC Tech Pilot Program. Now here are the key points for this program. The province of British Columbia has listed 29 occupations that qualify for this program and you need to have a valid job offer in one of these 29 occupations. And just like BCPNP, this offer does not need a labor market impact assessment. Unlike the regular BCPNP, where the job offer needs to be a permanent one, BC Tech Pilot Program needs the job offer to be valid only for a minimum of one year. And say if you're already working in the province of BC on a work permit in one of these 29 occupations, your current job needs to be valid for only another 120 days from the day you apply for this pilot program. Weekly invitations are issued to qualified registrants who have valid job offers in one of the 29 key tech occupations. An advantage of the BC Tech Pilot Program over the regular BC PNP are the weekly draws for this program and faster processing time. The processing time for BC Tech Pilot Program is one to two months. Now here's the list of these 29 eligible occupations and I will put a link in the description box below for you to go through this later as well. I will also put a link to the BC Tech Pilot Program Guide for you to go through the official information on the BC Provincial website. Here's what the whole process looks like. Secure a valid job offer in one of the eligible 29 occupations. Your employer also has to meet certain criteria. You register for BC PNP online registration system by creating your profile. You do not have to apply for BC Tech Pilot Program separately. When your NOC code matches to one of the 29 eligible occupations, BC PNP will speed up your process. Next, you'll receive a confirmation email and a registration score. If your profile is picked up by the Tech Pilot Program, you will receive an invitation to apply for this program. Invitations are issued to qualified skilled tech workers on a weekly basis. Next, you submit a completed application within 30 days of receiving an invitation to apply. And if approved, you will receive a nomination and 600 additional points for your CRS score 
which guarantees your ITA in the next express entry draw. Then you apply for permanent residency via express entry system through IRCC. Remember, this express entry process takes another 6 to 12 months to get your permanent residency. But you can also receive a work permit support letter from the province of BC for you to apply for a work permit and start your work while you're waiting for the PR process through IRCC. This way, your employer doesn't have to keep waiting for you to get your PR and then move to Canada and start your work. You can start your work by requesting a work permit, which usually takes only a couple months. Now here's what I feel is the main thing that you have to understand about the BC Tech Pilot Program is that you have to apply for this pilot program directly on the BC PNP online system and not just wait by submitting an express entry profile. Your express entry profile will qualify you for the regular BC PNP programs but for the tech pilot program, you have to first register with the BC PNP online registration system. What I would suggest is then when you submitted your express entry profile and even though you have shown interest in the province of British Columbia or even all the other provinces, do not wait to receive a notification of interest from the province of BC. Instead, if you have a valid job offer in one of the eligible 29 occupations, go directly to the BC PNP online registration website. I will leave a link in the description box below for you to go and check it out. I hope I was clear in providing instructions about this program and that you have gathered some valuable information by watching this video. If you have, please like and share this video with your friends and family and consider subscribing to our channel. That's it from today's video and see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day and stay curious.